Okay, old Molly here. Uh, it's a very, very old time, old fiddle tune. Uh, or maybe it's a very, very old, old time fiddle tune. Anyway, uh, how many banjo players does it take to screw in a light bulb? It takes, uh, it takes five. It takes one to screw in the light bulb and four to complain that they don't make them like they used to. But now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's start with old Molly here. Uh, so I think it's useful to get an idea of what it sounds like uh, in your head first before you start playing. Uh, so I'm going to play it like it's tabbed out uh, in the book uh, first. And then I'm going to play it kind of how I play it if, I, if my fingers want to hold up. Uh, you point a camera at me and all my playing goes out the window. But anyway, this is how it's tabbed out in the book. That's all there is to it. Uh, and the way I would normally play it would be something along the lines of this. I think I play it differently every time I play it, but anyway. But anyway, that's just using some of those more advanced techniques I went over in the double C uh, guide. So anyway, let's get started with the just basic tutorial, and then I'll show you some things you can add to it to spice it up and make it sound a little bit more lively. Uh, so you're starting out your fifth fret. This is a good song for beginners to learn because it uses the first string a lot. So we're going to be on the first string for the whole, almost the whole A part. But you're starting your fifth fret. Going to seventh. And then every time you strike your fifth fret, you go. So that's five, seven, three, five. And then second fret. So that first part is. And there's this little walk down like. Right, so that is on your first string, that's third fret, second fret, open, and then you're going to your third fret at your fourth, third string, fourth fret, then back to your second string, open. All that together sounds like... Just like that. Uh, if you don't want to come back, you can go and just slide down one more fret right there. It's the same note. Just like that. So uh, that's the A part. In all folk music, you're going to play uh, your A part twice and then your B part twice. Most songs just have an A and a B part. Some of them you might go A, A, B, B, uh, C, C. If they're really long, you might go A, B, B, C, C, D, D, but you always play whatever part it is twice before you go to the next part. Uh, so that's the A part. Uh, there's not a lot of chords to do there for a beginner, because for the most part you can ignore chords when they're above your fifth fret. Uh, but do be sure to get that uh, C chord there. Uh, also, whenever you're going five, seven, this should be F. chord uh, all right so the B part is like stupid simple it's simpler than the uh, than the uh, a part and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on your C chord and uh, first string go to your F chord back to your C chord G chord all first string still C and then that walk down. 
Sounds like... And that's the whole song. Uh, all together, it sounds like. Uh, super simple. Sounds really pretty and very, uh, very old. It's a good tune to play on banjo. Uh, and now we're gonna spice it up. So I'm gonna kind of do two levels of this, and the uh, the first level is just like I said. Whenever you hit it, you're on one and a. You're gonna add in the uh, E, so you're gonna be going one E and a by doing this right here. So you're gonna strike the uh, and like this is advanced, you know. So come back whenever you're ready for this. Uh, you're gonna strike the string. Take your thumb and drop it from the fifth string. To the second string so instead of uh, five then brush then thumb you're gonna be going five and then you're gonna be plucking your second string with your thumb then brush them takes the same amount of time as except it's That's pretty easy to do, to add to it. And uh, the other pretty easy thing to do is whenever you're doing that walk down and going. Instead of uh, coming here on your fourth fret at your third string, you're gonna still do that, but you're gonna slide. You're gonna start on your second fret and slide down to your fourth like this. So it's gonna be. Sounds the same. I, I really, I'm on the fence about that slide right there because I don't think it fits in with the song very well. Uh, so normally I just do the fourth, but it's good practice anyway. Uh, so more advanced things. We're still going to be doing this drop thumb thing, but we're going to be using this two finger chord here. Middle finger on the fifth fret, first string. Index finger on the fourth fret, second string. So we're going to be going... and then jumping and hitting the seventh fret and you're gonna be scooting your index finger down one fret to your fifth. So fifth fret, second string, seventh fret, uh, first string, so. Man, the way I'm sitting with the arms on this chair, I hate. I think that sounds really nice. Um, so you're going to be sliding there to your 7th fret, you're going to be taking the same shape and go into your 3rd fret uh, with your middle finger and your 2nd fret with your index finger and doing that same thing. So it sounds like... And what I'm doing there is just thumbing when I'm going... In between those notes, add a thumb. So. And you may, you may want to do that on every note. You may want to do it on every other note. You may not want to do it at all. Uh, you may want to do it every time. You may want to do it half the time. Whatever it is. But. That is uh, Old Molly Hair in double C tune. Uh, try it until you get it, and uh, then put a capo on, try it in D tuning. Uh, that, that'd be double D whenever you put the capo on. And uh, well, there's your first song, so good luck, and I'll see you next time where I will be going over Little Birdie, and then I will be going over Groundhog, and then I will be going over Sugar Hill, and then... Uh, 
down in the willow garden i think is the name of it it's a waltz oh and then uh polly put the kettle on those are the ones i'm going to be going over for the double c chapter so good luck with it practice uh practice obviously as much as you can especially if you get the hankering to and you're like man i really need to go uh pick up the banjo seize on that feeling whenever you get it it will take you a long way and uh try and practice at least a little each day even if it's only strictly uh technique or the simple songs that you know try and practice at least uh just a little bit every day keep your banjo in a place that you're going to be sitting a lot uh next to your bed next to your armchair in the kitchen <laughs> you know it, it doesn't matter but uh anyway good luck and uh i will see you next time